Yes, y'all, this is the Amanda Seals Show. I am Amanda Seals, and it is time for us to do what we do and go way back, back into time with another edition of Why You Bringing Up All Ish with our resident blistorian, okay? That is a black person that knows history, Ms. Kimberly Renee. Welcome to the show. Thank you so Please. much. Thank you so much. What you going to teach us about today? Well, we're going back to 1847. All right. Okay. February 16th, 1847, a black man who was educating black people, both free and enslaved, he got his school taken away because of Missouri legislation that said this. I'm going to quote it for you. No person shall keep or teach any school for the instruction of Negroes or mulattoes in reading or writing in this state. Now, I wanted to read it to you because when I tell you about this man, I need you to remember how I read it. Now, of course, Missouri wasn't the only place where teaching Negroes was illegal. We know that was commonplace. But in St. Louis, this man, John Barry Meacham, he wasn't going to tolerate that law. So let me give you a little bit of background on John. So mm-hmm. John was born enslaved in 1789. He purchased his freedom mm-hmm. from his aging enslaver by earning money as a saltpeter miner. He took that money and some money that he earned as a carpenter. He freed himself. He went to Virginia to go get his mama. No, sorry, his daddy. He went to Virginia to get his daddy. He went to Kentucky to get his mama. And then he bought his wife and his children in St. Louis, Missouri. And that's where he landed. Now, by the end of his life, John Barry Meacham had purchased not only his family, not only his family, but 20 strangers. So this man was an abolitionist. Now, in St. Louis, he also started a small business. Now, here's was one of my favorite parts. He hired enslaved people to work in his business. And he put money in their pockets. And he said, listen, take this money, save it up so that you can buy your freedom just like I did. You can also start building up for your family. He also started a church. And in the basement of that church, he started a school. And that's the school that we started talking about. So here we are, John Barry Meacham started a school, had a church. That church was actually one of the first uh, Protestant black church churches in St. Louis. The institution itself was responsible for educating hundreds of black people free and enslaved again up until 1847. Now, here's where it gets interesting, because John got creative when that law got introduced. Mm. He said, OK, so what you said was that I can't start a school in the state. Right. But what you didn't say was I couldn't start it in the water. I was about to say he got a vote, <laughs> didn't he? He got a vote. Didn't he? he got a vote. He got a vote. He got a, vote. He got a steam vote took that steamboat to the middle of the Mississippi River, just (gasps) outside the bounds of the state and started Mm -hmm. a school called the Floating Freedom School. And he kept on teaching people. Now he died shortly after that. His wife continued his legacy. Now Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say that she only worked after he died because she was critical to, they were a a partnership. Yeah, She herself actually got arrested for freeing people along the Underground Railroad. She was a conductor. And if you go to St. Louis, Missouri right now, Mary Meacham. Did you say Mary and Joseph? <laughs> no, 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 I said I have chills. I have chills. <laughs> you have chills. <laughs> Mary Meacham, her freedom crossing, there's actually a mural of her in the water, kind of being raised up in the water with the water surrounding her. There's a mural there in St. Louis that you can actually go see. So if you're in St. Louis, Missouri, I know you're on tour. If you happen Mm -hmm. to go check it out, you'll be able to see that that mural. So that is the story of John Barry and his wife, Mary (sighs) Beecham. It's so important that we continue to tell these stories and lift this up. I mean, I say it all the time, y'all, that there's an active, very effective measures that are being put in place to you know, really just erase black people, black history, black pain, black joy, all the above. They just trying to just erase blackness, even though we still here, we still here. And I love that on this show, you get to hear from Kimberly Renee, who uncovers these stories and reminds us where we came from. So we can always make sure that we are on the right path where we are going. Okay. So There you have it. It's not just Black History Month. It's Black every day here at the Amanda Seals Show. (laughs) Thank you once again for putting us on. Make sure y'all go look up his name again. John Barry Meacham. John Barry Meacham in St. Louis, Missouri.
that's why you bring it up. Oh, ish, right here at the Amanda Seal Show. We'll be right back to listen, laugh, and learn. We are, we- 